Hi, I'm Joe, an engineer here on the Backstage team at Spotify. I'm going to show you how simple it is to set up Spotify Portal for the first time, including things like populating your software catalog and enabling additional plugins. This is a brand new portal environment that's just been provisioned. The first step that I'm going to do is enter in a one-time password. And the next step is just notifying you of the data that we're going to be collecting inside of Portal, but you do have the opportunity to opt out of that as well. Now we're into this administrative screen. And what you'll see inside of here is we're going to be able to connect to GitHub and GitHub Enterprise providers. And what we're taking from these different providers is going to be things like your source code management and all the repositories, the users and groups that come from the source, and even creating authentication into something like GitHub as well. So what I'm going to do now is enter in my GitHub access token. This GitHub access token gives me the ability to read my organization's data, such as the repositories, the users and groups, but also be able to write to that repository as well and create pull request. I'm also going to set up an OAuth app with GitHub, which will give me the ability to do single sign-on for all of my different users that are going to be utilizing this portal environment as well. Now by hitting save and continue, Portal will automatically detect what organizations I have access to based on this specific access token. So here I can select something like the Spotify Portal demo environment. And then I can select who's going to be an admin of this environment. So I could select individual users from GitHub, or I could select an entire team. And this would allow me the ability to support who is going to be an admin directly from my GitHub, and it'll automatically get itself updated inside of Portal as well. By clicking Save and Continue, It'll show me what data I've set up for inside of my portal instance. And then I'll go ahead and click Create. And Portal in a few seconds will notify that it's ready to be utilized. And once I click that, you'll notice that this puts me into a very familiar source of a backstage environment. And what we've taken care of under the hood is we've set up the authentication for you. We've already ingested your users and your groups directly into this portal catalog. And we have set up the initial catalog discovery with GitHub in place. So now that we've entered into this brand new portal instance, I'm into the setup guide, which will help me get the most out of my portal environment. The first thing that I'm gonna do is add some components to my software catalog. What this catalog onboarding wizard does that we built directly for portal is discovers what teams you're part of inside of your GitHub organization, which I'll select right now with the Eagles team. It'll automatically identify what repositories it thinks that you own based on code owner files that are included inside of each one of these repos. When it finds the different components that my team owns, I'll automatically be included into this wizard guide for me to set up. If there's other projects I want to add in as well, I can select add manually. And here it'll show me a list of every single repository that's included inside of this organization. I'll select some that I want to include when I'm importing them into portal, such as the soundcheck demos, software templates, and example entities. And here I can select what type of project this is going to be. For instance, the soundcheck demo I'm going to set as a service, software templates a service, and the example entities as an other. Now that I've added in these specific components that I want to import into Portal, by clicking Next, it's going to go ahead and automatically create pull requests. These pull requests will include those brand new catalog info YAML files that will set up GitHub as your source of truth. If you already have existing experience with Backstage, you might have some catalog info YAML files in your repositories already. We have the ability to automatically pick them up directly inside of Portal and ingest them into your new catalog as well. If I save view on GitHub, here it'll have information about what Portal is. And if I look at this code behind this, it shows that brand new catalog info YAML file that I can go through and add more data to and it'll automatically be linked directly into this brand new Portal instance. But we have information such as the service ownership, identifying the Eagles team as the one that's going to own it, the name of the project, and some other metadata that'll be included as well. Once this pull request is merged in, the link between this repository and portal will already be set up and any changes that you make to this catalog info will automatically get picked up as well. And this will be included into this brand new catalog that you're creating. Now that I've enabled the software catalog inside of the setup guide wizard, we'll be able to add other plugins that are supported out of the box inside of portal. For instance, here's the tech docs plugin, which I can click enable tech docs. What you'll notice is that the portal environment will automatically refresh itself and now TechDocs is included for me to utilize inside of this brand new portal environment as well. I can also do the same thing with the scaffolder where I can go through and click enable. And now the scaffolder will also be included in this portal environment so that I can build software templates to provision my brand new projects with all the best practices of my organization included as well. 
If you're familiar with the open source backstage and you've made changes to your app config previously, all of that is abstracted inside of here. So if you wanted to make configuration changes or add additional plugins into your portal environment, all of that's done through here, which we were able to save and automatically update this portal environment with the brand new version that you're rolling out. If I wanted to go through and add additional plugins in portal, I could click this add a plugin button, which gives me the ability to add in supported plugins that we are currently available. This is currently based on the public NPM registry. In the future, we want to make it more secure for you to add plugins to your portal environment. So we're also working through private registry where you can register additional plugins you want to include as well, such as your own customizations that you want inside of portal too. So here I'm going to go through and add in the GitHub actions plugin directly into my portal environment. So what I've done is selected that NPM package, clicked install, portal goes through and recognizes what this package is, validates that it's going to be supported within this portal environment, and then works through installing it. Once this is finished installing, back in the config manager, these plugins will show up, and I'll be able to turn them on, turn them off, and make any other configuration updates I want to these specific plugins. So the last plugin I'm going to install into this portal environment is going to be Soundcheck. Soundcheck is the scorecarding solution that we've built directly inside of Portal. Once you've gone through and cataloged all of your different components that you want to include inside of Portal, Soundcheck helps you to create standards that you want to roll out across your entire organization. It'll gamify the approach for your engineering teams to meet the best practices, while giving you the ability to observe and monitor how your entire organization is performing against those best practices that you've rolled out. So going into the Soundcheck plugin, you notice it's broken down into three main topics. The checks, which are going to be the different conditions that are included in each one of the scorecards. The tracks, which are going to be the individual scorecards that you're measuring by the different topics you want to measure them in. We call them tracks at Spotify because everything is music themed at Spotify. And then the integrations, which are going to be how you go about bringing in data from other data sources that you want to measure with the different checks that you're creating in each individual scorecard. When you're setting up Soundcheck for yourself, you'll notice that you'll want to create your own con conditions that'll be part of each of your scorecards. What we've done is created some templates that help you get the most out of Soundcheck out of the box. So for instance, if you want to add specific annotations to your catalog entities, you can use one of our initial catalog metadata checks as a starting point to build off of as well. You'll also want to probably include some additional sources to pull data into Soundcheck as well. And we have extensibility available for you to add in your own custom integrations directly into Soundcheck too whether it's an additional third-party integration that we currently don't support, or an internal tool that you already have available in your organization where you're measuring some of this data already. Those are all available for you to utilize right now inside of Soundcheck as well. Once you have this up and running for your organization, you'll be able to see Soundcheck running in each one of your entities as well. This will show you the best practices that you've rolled out already. So for me, I just have two scorecards, the recommended GitHub settings and the basic source code management compliance. Each of these will be broken down by level of certification and which information is already being filled out that's passing or failing as it goes through it. This is where that gamification approach comes in. Each level of certification that you're passing will get a badge for that specific topic. And then you'll be able to observe and monitor in the Soundcheck admin screen for the tracks, how you're currently performing against those standards that you've rolled out. As you add more entities into your backstage environment, you'll get more and more data for what's the performance of these different aspects as well. Thanks for watching this quick tour of Portal. To learn more information about Portal, please visit backstage.spotify.com and apply for the beta to try it for yourself.